Today I'd like to talk about hope. Hope has a pulse. Uh, I was recently invited to talk to a group of young people during the school holidays. And you know what? I saw the depressing depths of despair our young generation find themselves in. And most of them become numb to the fact that they accept their story as the only truth. I looked into the eyes of so many of them and realized they have resigned to the idea that an uncertain future awaits them. I've been there as a young man during the apartheid era. The future looked bleak for me and my peers. And I remember sharing with my teacher and the class that I wanted to become a writer after school. They all just laughed because of the ridiculousness of my statement. And the teacher said that it won't happen because as a young colored man, I could be facing racial bias and discrimination in the workplace, as well as in the publishing industry. Yeah, it was true, but I was relentless. My parents told me that the Bible tells us about the hope for the hopeless. And today's young generation appears to have accepted their current story or circumstances as the only reality. Yes, it's understandable, but they have unknowingly exchanged the truth for a lie. It's hard for the younger generation to see the significance in their season. It is tough, especially when you're in that situation. But they cannot allow the world or the circumstances to define their significance. They are unique. This generation must understand that they're in a period of preparation. And it's only for a season. So there's hope. We must show them another truth and reality. That a bright future awaits them. They need to hear that it's not where you start, but where you finish in life. It doesn't matter whether you live in a shack or in a public toilet or in a flat. What matters is where you finish. They must understand that you shouldn't despise the process you're going through. We should let them understand this and that they are the next doctors and lawyers and writers and academics and teachers and actors, innovators and pastors, professors and world leaders. Yes, we are all fearful and wonderfully made. Let us be the ignition for their future because hope has a pulse.